practice. Hey guys, my name is Jerry So, and I'm from the United States, and I volunteered here in La Ceiba, Honduras, um, at the at La Clinica Atlantida and Clinica and Hospital Atlantida as well, from December 14th to January 10th. And um, the local local Broad View coordinator and um, the support that I received in the country was great. Um, Rafael, our Broad View coordinator, um, he was a great support throughout the entire program, and I felt like I could come to him like for whenever I had any questions or concerns about the program, or just about the daily operations that that went on at the clinic and the hospital. Um, some of the most surprising things that I experienced here during my trip um, at the program it had to be when I when I started speaking to the patients um, as I shadowed some of the nurses and the doctors and this one woman that I met who is in her 60s or 70s um, she told me that she actually lived at the clinic for a week or so um, to receive nebulizations from the nurse there for her asthma and that really just put things into perspective because sometimes you just don't hear you just forget to ask these stories from patients um, and at the accommodation, um, what really surprised me was the food. Um, I coming from coming from college and the dorm lifestyle, it was really hard to adjust to the smaller portions here in La Ceiba, or well in Central America in general. Um, definitely be prepared for that. Um, about the country, um, I found that what I really enjoyed was, um, and I found surprising was the marketplace here. It's really um, the energy, the the liveliness, the music, it just felt so engulfing. Like I whenever whenever I passed by the different stores, I felt like there was a character to each of them and um, studying Spanish in high school it, it really um, really made me feel like I could experience all of that. Um, some of the most difficult things that I experienced here um, in Honduras um, at the program, um, the hardest part was probably the language barrier. Um, while while I did study um, Spanish up until high school, um, I felt that it was a bit hard to pick up pick up what the healthcare professionals and the patients were saying at times because of um, the fluency and the speed that they were speaking at. Um, at the accommodation. Um, well, I wouldn't say that I had much difficulty with the accommodation. Um, my host, my host mom, was was very kind. Um, she made sure that everything was handled, any problems that I experienced. Um, but probably the most difficult thing had to be um, bringing up these issues to my host mom. Um, she was such a nice person. I didn't want to seem a bit rude in the process. But definitely, don't be afraid to to talk about these things with the family that you're staying with. Um, in the country, um, probably the most gif difficult thing to experience was getting used to the culture. And but I felt that within the first week, I was um, pretty acclimated to everything around me. Um, for clothing, um, just tips for you other volunteers out there. I just I just want to say, don't pack too much. Um, you want to pack light and minimally. Um, I'd say. At most, mm, it'd be best to bring about three to four outfits, um, two pairs of scrubs, um, underwear and socks, of course, but that's a given. Um, perhaps, I'd say one pair of closed-toed shoes and sandals for different occasions. Um, I would also, al although boots were mentioned, um, you don't need them in particular, but if you do think that they'd be necessary, I would bring them if you can. Um, sunglasses are great to bring as well because it does get pretty sunny over here. Um, for donations, I'd say anything from gloves, gauze, um, monetary donations, pens and pencils. Um, they would all be great things to bring here to the clinic and the hospital. Um, what, what we often find is that sometimes we run out of these supplies and they are very necessary, um, especially when it comes to dealing with um, the daily operations that go on in the emergency department, um, the, pro the procedures that we get to see, um, as well as um, just in the clinic with curations and whatnot. Um, for weather, I would say possibly to bring a raincoat. 
because when it rains here, it rains. It rains pretty hard. Um, the the showers, um, I didn't find much problem with. Um, if you would like, you could bring a very small umbrella, but that definitely isn't necessary. Um, things that you should know coming into the program here in Las Vegas. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help or admit that you don't know something. Um, when when dealing with the patient, when talking with the patients or talking with the healthcare professionals that you encounter during your stay here, um, I feel like it's best to be able to admit that you don't know something rather than um, rather than try and play it off. Because what's important is to make sure that in these clinical settings that um, the right information is conveyed and um, no miscommunications occur. So definitely be able to ask um, anyone who could translate for you or simply just simply try and um, speak to speak to Raphael or anyone else who may be around. Um, try, try to come with an open mind, definitely. I would say that um, ex you definitely don't want to come here with any expectations. Um, it's a wonderful place and the culture and the lifestyle the pace of the workplace it's definitely something that might that may be easy to compare to in, in um, wherever you're coming from but it's a different environment and you have to you have to, you have to realize that and be able to enjoy the experience here and realize that this is how things work here so um, I would I just want to say that um, during my stay here what really what I really enjoyed was being able to take the, um, the language lessons after um, my shift in the clinic. Um, I, I felt being able to speak to the teachers here and learning about their lives and the things that they experience as well as what goes on in the city. I felt that that was, that was a great opportunity for me, especially coming from um, my first semester of college and being able to find myself back in the classroom setting um, in Spanish. Um, I definitely found that being able to being able to spend my time with a host family um, and speaking to them in Spanish um, definitely helped out my Spanish a lot. Um, while while many host families um, speak English, I would definitely suggest that you try to you at least try to get some basic communication out in Spanish because um, it's a great skill to learn and I feel like it would help you out so much in life. Um, for my accommodations, meals, and security, I, I, I felt that they were all really great. Um, my accommodations, I, my host family was wonderful. Um, the place that I was staying at was nice, well kept. Um, the meals, the meals were great. They were delicious. Um, when it, if you get the chance to, definitely try some baleadas and um, some tamales. Um, and security-wise, um, here in La, Col La Colonia Sauce, I felt that I was, I never felt um, threatened whenever I was around the neighborhood. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad at all. And um, my favorite memory of, of this trip during the program um, probably was two days ago in the archives, um, which is where I normally work at. And during my time here, I found that, um, <clears throat> I found that finding a way that was efficient um, and working alongside the, the other workers there and um, finishing, finishing in record time probably was, um, <laughs> probably was one of my favorite memories and um, one of the most relieving times. Um, in the country, I would say that um, Christmas at Raphael's house um, was probably my, my best memory of the trip. Um, being able to see how Christmas is, um, is celebrated here, rather than, um, like for example, um, Christmas is celebrated at midnight um, on the 25th, rather than in the morning. And um, being able to see all the fireworks, all of the noise, um, or being able to experience all the noise and the energy going around and around the neighborhood, it was just an experience that you, you really have to be here to understand. Um, and um, a broader view, um, the support from the, the office in the United States, I felt was very easy to, um, to speak with and it was very informative. Um, speaking with the office um, and calling them about any concerns or information that I, um, 
information that I wanted to learn about the program. Um, it was, it helped me a lot um, coming in and settling any qualms that I had. Um, the website information, um, I felt that it was, it provided a very nice snapshot of what um, it is like here in La Ceiba and the and how it is in the clinic and the hospital. Um, and if any other Bar View volunteers um, would like to speak to me, I would definitely be up for it. Um, if uh, if you have any questions, um, any concerns, I'd I'd be more than happy to speak to you about that. And um, yeah, to yeah. that. Thank you, Yuri, for volunteer with the Brother View Honduras. Have a safe trip home, and we hope to see you back very soon. Thank you.